I'm like, I just want to play the card game. It's like, I, I think this is a running theme with me. If there are card games in a game, I will play the card games. Like, in New Fallout, uh, Fallout 3 New Vegas, I was playing for the card games, playing like Blackjack. It was like Final Fantasy 8 and 9. Hello, dear. Uh, Final Fantasy 8 and 9, I was playing with a triple triad. Witcher 3 is Gwent. I'm like, I may have an addiction not to va- It's like, oh, gambling. Oh, look at the view. It's so pretty, it's too pretty. I think I'm getting closer to Valentine. Should be that shouldn't be that far away. No, fight me and go fish, you won't. It's like, break out the cards. It's time to duel. Whoa, dude. Dude just whipped out his gun. All I'm doing is just riding here. So aggressive. Oh, also, it is way too warm for this attire now. There we go. Just like magic. I found this dude earlier. And I can't just say, I can't just leave things be. Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. I, I'm not coping very well with life, my friend. I can tell. I see that. Send me the message. He won't. The message is get out of the water before you get pneumonia. <laughs> Mo, it's time to do, 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 go fish. Are you the signal? Uh, yes, I am. Oh no, just pretend you're the signal, Arthur. How, how do you then you can just tell the man to get out of the river. How do I know? You don't. You don't know. How do, how do I know? <laughs> Just get out of the water. Good. There we go. Hey, boy. Did I just run over a fish with my horse? Sounded like it. Alright, bye, preacher. I remember seeing an interview with the uh, the voice actor for Arthur Morgan. I'm blanking on his name, but they were talking about how he had to redo some of the lines, like especially for the horse lines when you're like, "That's a good boy," why not? And he, they're like, "Yeah, we gotta we gotta have you redo some of those lines." And he's like, "Why?" He's like, "Didn't they turn out okay?" And they're like, "No, no, it just." Oh, yeah, we gotta replay. We gotta redo those lines. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find the video online and I'll post it to Discord. They were quite humorous. Real 
Here we go. Wait, why am I in Valentine again? I forget. Oh, right, 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 Jim Boy. Thank you for your help. Oh, Mo, yeah, I, I mean, you saw that. He made one of the lines of me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mr. No meal is complete if it don't got meat. And he's like, yeah, we, we gotta redo those lines. I could not stop laughing. Cause you gotta imagine like how often, like how many times do they have to redo lines just to get the right inflection in the voice? It's like the amount of hours the vo these voice actors must have put into this game. Especially a game like this. Nobody. On a single playthrough that someone will run through every bit of dialogue. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy sojourned? That's a five dollar word, Arthur. Drunk boy Calloway. This bar's got <laughs> to remember him by. Last I heard... They was in San Denis. They had rooms on a riverboat there. Ooh, riverboat. On a riverboat? I have to go to St. Denis again? Alright. Well, I guess I'm going to St. Denis. And had to use some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. Alright, can you get... Uh, do I need food? Well, you know, while I'm here... Give me some oatmeal. Thanks. I didn't ask for your opinion, but all right. That quick. Careful, big man. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the train to Saint Denis. I don't normally ride the train. Well, let's see how how fast that gets me there. Oh, Mo, if I get commission from work next week, you're immediately pre-ordering. Oh, that's right. Didn't they release a uh, an announcement saying that they had to postpone the game? Didn't they push back to the fall or the fourth quarter? Or am I imagining that? Or is that for, like, a different game? Howdy there. Welcome. But, yeah, I, I, I want that game. That game looks really good. I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Well, All right, I will buy. Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. Ten dollars. I'm not paying ten dollars. Where's the train going for S Emerald Ranch? Hold on. Where's Emerald Ranch? All right, there it is. But I would think that the train for Emerald Ranch would continue on to Saint Denis. And then I'm just gonna stay on the train. Enjoy your destination. Oh no, yeah, they pushed it from April to September and September to November. Isn't it like mainly not only due to COVID, but also because they didn't want to rush it. Or am I thinking of another game? Like, they're trying not to just crank it out. Can I just hop back up on the truck? There's my horse! Did not expect to see my horse waiting for me at the station. I don't normally ride the train. At an, acting in a threatening manner to passengers will initiate a rob- I don't want to initiate a robbery. I want to stay on the train and not have to pay more of my fare. Hey horse. You stay. Where's my horse gonna follow me? 
Uh, if the train passes through town while you're robbing the train, the law will be alerted and the patrol will be dispatched after you. Hold LT to target a passenger and Y to rob- I don't want to rob them, game! Stop trying to seduce me into robbing people. Oh, Mo. Yeah, they really wanted to take their time with the release. Like that, I can understand. And you don't want to push people past, like, the breaking point. Uh, once the robbery has started, passengers that you have not yet robbed in the car will currently be marked on your radar. And when I mean, like, the breaking point, I meant, like, the designers and, um, the team working on it. Bye, horse. Hey, <laughs> I didn't pay any more money for this ticket. Now we're just gonna sit back, relax, enjoy the view. Look outside. Saving like eight dollars. <laughs> I guess technically I could get up on the roof and start shooting some birds, but I think they don't, I think they frown upon that. And they'll consider that a crime. Let me check the map real quick. Where am I? All right, so yeah, we'll be headed towards Saint Denis in just a moment. Oh my, I don't think my horse followed. Oh, we're out of whistling range. Oh well. <laughs> Granted, Arthur, you are on a train. Not the horse's fault. It's also kind of neat, you can actually, like, I'm in the train, I'm sitting down, and yet the controller is rumbling every now and then. Ooh, there's a house up there. Have I seen that house? I don't think I have. I'm gonna put my map marker right there. For later. Oh, Mo, well, what controller do you prefer, Sam? PlayStation or Xbox? I think at the moment I would say Xbox controller. I mean... It has a, it has a good feel, like, when you have it in your hand. I don't know how else to kind of explain it. I mean, it's not too big. I mean, I know where all the buttons are. I think what throws me off with the PlayStation 4 controller, as opposed to like the PlayStation 3 controller, I think it's the touchpad. Did I just hear somebody scream? Well, it is swamp country out there, who knows. But yeah, I think the the touchpad, or the, it's not, is it a touchpad? Like, what, is, what do they call it on the PlayStation 4 controller? The, um, the giant touch button in the middle. <laughs> that button there on the PlayStation controller, I think that just throws me off because I keep forgetting that that's a functional button for some games. So I would say if I had to choose between Xbox and PlayStation, I would choose the Xbox. But really, I, I think, if anything, I would choose a controller over a keyboard though. 
Just something about the keyboard, it doesn't, it takes it like a step out of immersion for me, if that makes sense. Um, oh yeah, same. And this is coming from a PlayStation user, I think the Xbox controller is much better fitting for me at least. Also managed to turn the PlayStation 4 controller touchpad into a map. Ooh! That's interesting. I wouldn't even, I would not have even thought of using that for that purpose. Great for Netflix. Cool. I don't know about you, but I have been on a real kick with Netflix. Hello. Like, I don't typically go anywhere with, uh, with, you know, the pandemic and everything like that. So I've been trying to catch up on my queue. Hey there, mister. Now where's the stable? I think it'll be on my left. Whoa, whoa, stop! You ain't allowed in here! Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Jeez. Someone's cranky. Like, lately, I've been watching episodes of The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I really started to like that show. And I think the sad thing is I'm like, oh, it's over now. It only had, like, four seasons and the interactable, uh, show. Oh, no, same. Yeah. Okay, I need to check the map. Alright, it'll be on. It'll be coming up soon. Like, I started watching, uh, Kimmy Schmidt, and then I was also watching The Magicians, and I think that series ended. So it's like a lot of the shows I'm starting to watch and get into, like, the show's already over and done with. So it's like, on one hand, that's good, because then it's like, oh, I don't have to wait for new seasons and new episodes to come out. But also, no, Arthur, get down! I meant to jump off! No, Arthur, get stop. Jeez, okay, let's. I'm just. I'm making a break for it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most graceful of dismounts. Hello. Can I go in here? Is this technically still part of the stables? Uh oh, Mo. There's this quirky British TV show called Sex Education with comedy, romance, drama. Isn't that the one with Gillian Anderson? Scully from uh, X-Files? I think I've seen like a preview of that in the queue. Or not in my queue, but um, how, how they have like the top 10. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'll go hunt that down for you. There we go. No, but I know what you're talking about. And see, I just saved Arthur eight dollars. <laughs> I get to Saint Denis. Forget that. I'm just gonna stick around after Emerald Ranch. Excuse me, sir. Sir, why are you going forward? You need to move aside. You're not gonna win against a fight against a horse. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Need to find somewhere to park my horse in the meantime. Oh, um, oh, it's about a geeky high schooler <laughs> who becomes a sex therapist for students at a high school. Yeah, isn't it like the premise like his mom is a therapist or whatever? Alright, let me. I'm gonna park my horse here. You stay. Stay. Don't get in trouble. Ooh, is that graffiti? I need to look at the graffiti.
Um, mysterious writing? What is this? Bones under the perfect star. No! <gasps> I found the vampire clue! Oh, I have the dorkiest grin on my face that there's a stupid vampire in this cowboy game. Why do I keep ragdolling <laughs> Arthur? My cowboy, my dude. Let me save the game real quick. All right, let's go talk to Jim Boy Callaway. Show him all these pictures. Sass this man. This is the famous Grand Corrigan. I need to ask after Callaway. Boy Callaway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Then please let me by. usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You shall let me pass, sir. Sweet. Oh, Mo, highly recommend watching it. You'll actually fall in love with every. Okay, that's a good recommendation. I will, I will catch out an episode, or I will catch an episode. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? Name. About how you'd expect. Well, any good I asked to get on the boat. From the old days. <laughs> uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I... <laughs> I shot them with my camera and my gun. <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it you? <laughs> noticed? I think the people I Oh, you mean can they can trace it back to you? Do you think anyone would mind if I if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Oh, you're trying oh, to take I my don't kills. Care. Just as long as I share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature <laughs> is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well, especially when you lie. Great. That's the goddamn fast. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, are you drinking, Callaway? Uh, you know? Do you not remember me? What? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody. <laughs> I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Buddy, you goddamn. I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What the way will work. What? Damn you, Zero Eleven. You're a snake. Damn you. Eat. Damn you, nobody. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, no. but I can't take credit for that which I damn This man is stinking drunk. I'm an old man. Yes, You're a drunk old man. Going. Caesar. You can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill the both here. Yeah, calm down. Jeez. I'm a legend. Yes, you are. Uh, right. Who gave this drunk man a gun? I don't have to prove nothing to you. Don't point that at me. Of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. Ah, uh, psychoanalyze this man. Please stop pointing your gun at me. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! Now, who shall we kill? You kill, I mean. Oh, Mo, right, I'm gonna go get cookies and binge Netflix again. Thanks again, Mo. Thanks again for stopping on by, hanging out. Enjoy your Netflix. And have a good night. We'll catch you again next time. Oh, am I gonna have to kill another man for this dude? Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is Slim Shady. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Grant. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go talk to the law. Just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Hey. Alright, locate and capture Slim Grant and Ansbert. Why do I have to capture him? Can't I just, you know, gently persuade him to join me?